course, Emma. Uh, we're heading up north of Broome, up the Dampier Peninsula. We're going to go to Lombardina. Actually, I think we're going to go to a couple of different spots um, just for an overnight trip. We're actually going uh, to Lombardina first. We're going to catch up with Waitok, which is uh, WA Indigenous Tourism Operators Council. <laughs> I think those are all the right letters. Um, basically, those guys help Indigenous Tourism Operators in WA. Um, to well, do a lot of things in the tourism space really um, you know they do uh, ground up business development stuff like that sort of support but also keep tourism businesses in business uh, but also you know promoting what we do as well to um, ensure that there's enough effort to put into that space anyway so they've set up for a workshop to take place for Dampier Peninsula members um, but it's not only Dampier, Dampier Peninsula members um, it's also uh, so this business members uh, of that organization and so but also we're gonna have Clinton Walker who's there from the Pilbara he's from uh, I'll let him pronounce it but I think it's Nuringa Tours uh, which operate in, uh, in and out of in and around Karatha uh, that Pilbara area uh, he's a Nalaman man and so that's what we're doing today we're having a bit of a workshop to talk about this, that tourism space stuff I'm not gonna probably share everything about what's happening but I'll just, just letting you know why we're going up here um, but tomorrow uh, around lunchtime, we're going to go to Lala, um, which is uh, the Angus family's block out here. Uh, we're going to go see Bolo, who's my brother-in-law, and um, we're going to go see him. And I think we're actually he's going to take us on a, an experience, like, like a coastal walk. Um, and, and I'll try and film some of that to share what his experience is like, um, so that you know what you're in for when you do come up and, and do that for yourself. Uh, I was hoping we were going to get to Cool Jimin as well, which is a, like a resort up here. Um, <clears throat> I think it's owned by the locals up here, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, to be honest, I don't know the full itinerary, but we'll see where we go and what we do. And so I brought my drone, and so we'll hopefully get some shots. Uh, we might have a campfire down the beach or something like that as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So we're getting, having a break from town to do that stuff. All right, keep you posted. Anything else? No. I think I covered everything. Yeah, that's it, I think. All right, sorry guys, I actually forgot to mention one more, and I don't know how I forgot this, but anyways, Rocky, um, our local room celebrity, <laughs> the star of Brand New Day, the, the movie with Ernie Dingo, uh, Rocky McKenzie, he's also going to be out here, and he's going to have a chat about how he's doing social media stuff. Um, but that guy, uh, have a look for What Now, What Now Mob, and have a look for What Now Mob on YouTube. Uh, he's got a channel there, you know, he's got Instagram and Facebook as well. But he's doing some really deadly stuff going out, taking kids hunting, taking family out, fishing and camping and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll let you go and have a look at that and you'll see what I mean. But I'll write it on the screen so you know exactly what to type up. Um, give him a little plug <coughs> and um, you'll see just how deadly these videos are. But he's going to share some of that um, experience with us down here as well. Alright, sorry I forgot you were walking. Lombardina, three kilometers. Woohoo! Oh, that must be the Jadigan Roadhouse. Nice. Well, that looks pretty busy there. We're gonna go this way. So um, so see how I'm bringing it back here. When you're when you're in close, don't just use a camera to land it. Yeah. Use your line of sight, especially when you know things are around that might be able to grab it. You know? <laughs> so I don't trust this dog. <laughs> you watching? <it. laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> but basically like so using this one here <laughs> all right guys so we've just finished um at our workshop that we're doing today um but i wanted to show you our accommodation here at lombardina um this is a whole cabin for us uh which looks pretty cool there's a satellite on top i'm not sure what that means or oh, satellite dish rather <laughs> um, and so i'll show you inside quickly but um the marsh you can see just over there but behind that and oh, actually there's a big dune system across over there but behind the marsh is 
it's more that dune system i think but the beach is right there where we're staying <coughs> and so i'll just quickly show you in here in case you do decide to come come to lombardina oh, so this is the kind of cabin that we're in which i think is pretty awesome when i looked at it from the outside i actually thought it was our room was going to be half of it and the other half was going to be the other room um but you can see here <clears throat> maybe kids room or whatever but there's two singles in there this is obviously a little living area which is awesome you've got stove top tv you know dining lounge whatever fridge emma hey uh, you know bathroom massive bathroom you can keeps the room for activities <laughs> um, <laughs> This is a quote from Step Brothers. Anyway, so, and master bedroom. Again, fan, aircon, everything. This place is awesome. All right, anyways, we're gonna go down. Uh, we're actually just gonna have a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a rest, uh, before we actually head down to the beach. And I think we're gonna have a feed down there and maybe a couple of quieties. It's the sunset, chill out, whatever, because we had a big day in that workshop. But um, that's it, and then, um, I'll get some shot of that and see if I can get the drone up actually. Uh, hopefully we're allowed to. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly the rules and the droning around here, but I'll find that out before I do that and show you what it's like out there, that area I was just pointing out to you earlier. All right, that's it for now. Still pretty tight, eh? Still pretty tight. Oh, okay. See you, I'll see what fish is. All right, you can go another single. Anyway, that's pretty low, eh? Yeah. We're gonna go down to the beach and to go have a sunset, maybe a feed as well. And um, so we're gonna go through this dune system and onto the beach. I've never been there before. I've never been there before. And um, so we're gonna give it a whirl. This is the first time we've ever done fall driving like this in this car, in Emma's Hilux. And so we'll see how we go. I'll let these guys give them a bit of a head start in their troop car because. Plus they've got a couple of dogs with them and I don't want to accidentally run someone's dog over. Um, so I'll let them get out of the way first and then we'll go. Alright, here we go. We've let the air tire pressures down to about 20 or thereabouts. Um, this track doesn't look that extreme, it should be alright. But this Emma's car, we still haven't yet um, upgraded the suspension or the tyres or anything. And so that's why this is a little bit of a trial for us with only a little bit on the fence about this because we haven't done those changes yet but looks not so bad so far he's going nice and slow i think he's got a heavy load in there we've already caught up to this up here but yeah i mean you want to show them what that dune looks like over there it's a pretty big dune system beautiful Like where fresh water sits, you can see reeds and some water. I reckon I'll bet you any money that is fresh water spring um, within the dune system here.
just heading out to Lalam, Bolo's block, um, <coughs> Lalam Coastal Tours, or Coastal Walks. Um, gonna have a look around out there, see how we go, get some drone shots. But he's just showing us this little bit of dragon. Beautiful, nice colours, earthy colours, plenty of little spikes. You see season apparently, they start to just come out. That's another way of looking. I'm going to see a fresh mud marks where they push the mud up. We'll let this one go, eh? That tells us to grab a mating. Um, once the flowers drop, uh, the water flowers drop, the wangai, we know the, the females have gone out, then they jump for the year. There's a hole in the tree, they're making their hand like a little funnel so they can hear the bees inside inside the, inside the wow. tree. No, that's the bees playing guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like that, hey? Oh, I'm thinking now. All right. Bolo found us a mud crab, and Emma's gonna pick it up. You know what? <laughs> what do I do? Get it as slow as you can. Decent crab. Turn up the back. Put it straight on the back like that, and then when you pin it down, he can grab you, then slide your hand down, pick that one up, and pick that one up. Yep. Pin it first. Yep, straight down. Pin it now. Yep. Now slide your hand in the back, flip up. Yep, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. Pin it. Just pin it straight down. Put your finger down, straight on his back. Put your finger straight on his back. You can't go there. That's, that's just, yeah, that's just thing size. See, look. See, look. I'll pin it. He can't grab you. Alright, pin it. Pin it, push it down, yeah, he can't get you down. Right. And then slide this finger, this finger down to there. What, the put pointing your, finger? Yeah, put your thumb in behind that flipper there, then slide this one back down, slide it down and pick it up then. Yeah, get your finger in there, slide it down and pick it up. You got him, you got him? You're right. It's a male, so we're taking him. Who's eating wow. today? Ah! 
First mud crab at Southern Cross Constable. <laughs> Deadly. So it's the back. This way, sorry. The light. <laughs> That's better. Oh, you have to carry it because there's no bucket. Coastal walks or coastal tours, and um, Emma's been lucky enough to be shown how to pick one up with her bare hands. But um, we've obviously got something for a feet, for a feet rather. But um, yeah, if you want to book onto Bolo's tours, go through uh, Bulgemin. Try to go back out again and look for the six. Pull the stick out, get the rock, move it, take the pad back out, and the fish will just float up. There's no fish around anywhere. He just walked over with another one. <laughs> this place is full of mud. That's it, I think we've got enough. Come check them out. Yeah, man. <laughs> Always get a crab on tour. Yep. I guarantee that. Not only in the mangoes, but in the flats, in the mud holes. You can also find them inside the trees there, yeah. in the holes. So we can find them everywhere in the rocks. All over. Oh, Still a little bit of Jason in the bottom there. So you see here, it's pandanus palms. Mm -hmm. That tells you the water. You've got fresh water, underground water here. You can dig up anywhere along the how that fresh water running through there. Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't have to dig far because it's up here. We went down on the beach a bit more and dug up there because the hill slopes. We won't have to dig so far. I just come through that the water is pretty close to the surface. They don't really have long tapping roots. So when you dig into that's a good indication that there's sand water here. Mm -hmm. Jumbarati, a horrible Jumbarati, we call them, a stone knife, and these ones here, this would be, you could make an axes out of this, this one here would, you'd hack away at something like, something thick as that. This one here you would find it inside bush more. It's closer to the pad by tree. Oh, you can see the little bees in there. Oh, yeah.
Just have to look for the view.